Now, the question says, given n combination 4 over n permutation 2 equals 1 over 2, find n. Find the value of n. Option A, you have 5. Option B, we have 8. Option C, we have 6. Option D, we have 7. Now, see this type of question. See the type of question? We want to solve this solution. The, the formula for combination is, whenever you have n combination r, the formula will be n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial. And whenever you have n permutation r, n permutation r will be n factorial over n minus r factorial. Now, everybody take notes. Let us now use this trait. So that means, that means 4 combination 4, as that means n combination 4 will be equal to, to be equal to n factorial over n minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. Then what is n permutation 2? n permutation 2, according to the question given to us, will be n factorial over n minus 2 factorial. That is, if we relate our, you know, you, this is the formula, this is the formula for the permutation and combination. So we replace n is n, then that means our r is what is 2. That means n is n, that means our r here is what 4. That's how to do this. Now go back to the question. n combination 4, which is this, and that's n factorial over n minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. Then divided by n permutation 2. And n permutation 2 is n factorial over n minus 2 factorial. Everything equals 1 over 2. If you have this, we can change the, the division to multiplication. If you change division to multiplication, then it becomes n factorial over n minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. Then multiply. So if you change it to multiplication, numerator will become denominator. And denominator becomes what? Numerator. Then multiply by what? n minus 2 factorial over n factorial. Everything equals 1 over 2. Then the n factorial here can cancel n factorial here. So what remains at the numerator is n minus 2 factorial all over n minus 4 factorial 4 factorial. Everything equals 1 over 2. Now you have to learn something before we go. What is factorial? If you have one factorial, one factorial is one. If you have two factorial, two factorial is two times one. If you have three factorial, three factorial is three times two, times one. If you have four factorial, four factorial is four times three, times two, times one. What is five factorial? That is five times four, times three, times two, times one. So that is what we know as what? As factorial. But now you have to learn something in the sense that if you... Get the scope of this factor here. It shows that there is reduction of 1, 1, 1. That means there is reduction of this 3 to 2. From 2 to 1, 2, 1. Reduction of 1 from 4 will give us 3. From 4 to what? 2. 2 from 2 to what? 1. Now, as far as there is reduction of 1, 1, but you still see that structure very well in the sense that it is still multiplication. That is, we multiply, we multiply all those words, all those values. That is, when you see this, we have it to be 3 times 2 times 1. We have it to be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. You understand? So we have to what? We have to multiply it. Now, coming to this one now. Coming to this one. You you are going to observe that. If I want to be reduce, reducing 1, 1 from this to now. You know, this one has a factorial now. I want to remove 1, 1 from it. That means I'm going to have n minus 2 in this bracket. Multiply by n minus 3. Because if you have minus 2 minus 1, that is what? Minus 3. Then the next one will now be n minus that's minus 3 minus 1. That will be what? Minus 4. I will have to stop at this minus 4 because there is minus 4 at the what? At denominator. And your denominator is n minus 4 factorial. So we still have what? 4 factorial. So equals 1 over 2. Therefore, this n minus 4 factorial, we cancel n minus 4 factorial here. So what remains is n minus 2 into bracket n minus 3. Then all over, what will be your 4 factorial that is here? The 4 factorial that is here is. 4 times 3 times 2 
times 1, which is equal to what? 1 over 2. If we get this very well, you don't observe that. You will observe that if you open this bracket, n times n, that's n squared. n times minus 3, that's minus 3n. Then minus 2 times n, that's minus 2n. Then minus 2 times minus 3, that's plus 6. All over. If you multiply the denominator, that's 4. You have the denominator to be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's equal to 24. You have this to be 24. So all over 24, which is equal to 1 over 2. If you cross multiply. Don't forget that you have it to be... You have n squared minus 5n, don't cross multiply yet, over 6, all over 24, which is equal to what? 1 over 2. Then I can say 2 year 1, 2 year what? 12. So if I say 2 year 1, 2 year 12, or better still, you cross multiply. If you cross multiply, you are still going to get the same thing. So 1 over 1 is 1. So if you now have this, you will now cross multiply here. That's n squared minus 5n plus 6 is equal to what? 12. Then n squared minus 5n plus 6. If I take 12 here, that's what? Minus 12 is equal to 0. So it becomes n squared minus 5n minus 6 equals 0. Then we cannot solve quadratically on the calculator. If you solve quadratically on the calculator, we have this. The coefficient of the first one is 1, so 1 equals 2. Next one is minus 5 equals 2. Equals 2. The next one is minus 6 equals 2. The plus equals 2 again, you can see that n is equals to 6, plus equals 2 again, or n is equals to what? Minus 1. n is equals to 6, or n is equals to minus 1. But the correct answer here is n is equals to 6. The reason is because where we have the n, you cannot have a negative value at the top here. So you can only have, that is, the value that must be at the end here must be greater than what the value of R here. And if you can see that the value, the, the, the only one that is greater than the all those values here is what the 6. That's why the correct answer is what is 6, option C. But if you want to do it on the calculator, you can just let us do it on the calculator. Assuming you are given this type of question on the question, you just have it to be. Let us change n to x. So you now have alpha x, then shift combination. You have the combination here, combination 4. Then divided by, divided by, we have alpha, alpha x, alpha x, then permutation, this permutation, then what? 2. So can, as, as you can see, we have it to be n combination 4 divided by n permutation 2. That is, we now change our, we change n to be equal to x on the calculator because there is no n on the calculator, so we have x. That's why on the calculator we have x combination 4 divided by x permutation 2. Now press calculate. We'll not be using the option 1 after the other. So the only option that we instruct that can give us 1 over 2 is the correct answer. So when it says, what's the x? That is, what is the value of n? So let's use the option a, 5. Press equals 2. Can you see that 5 gave us 1 over 4? So press calculate again. Press option b, which is 8. Press equals 2. 8 gave us 5 over 4. Press calculate, then press option c, which is 6. And press equals 2. Can you see that 6 gave us what? 1 over 2. The only one that gave us 1 over 2 is what? Option C, which is 6. Then you can test option D. If you are not sure, press calculate, press 7, and press equals 2. Can you see that this one does not give us 1 over 2? So the only one that gave us 1 over 2 is what? Option C. Like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, inshallah, the blessing, popularly known as General David. So please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Now, if you enjoyed this video, just send a love emoji at the comment section. Thank you very much. God bless you.